All right, good afternoon, Osage Beach, Missouri. How are you guys doing today? All right. I want to say hello to everybody watching on Bassmaster.com. My name's Hank Weldon. I'm the tournament manager here for the Carhartt Bassmaster College Series. That's presented by Bass Pro Shops. And here we are, day number three, Championship Friday. Typically Championship Saturday, but this one ends on Friday this week. And this is the Midwestern Conference Regional uh, here at Lake of the Ozarks. Several people we want to thank and before we get into this exciting weigh-in. First, our local host, Lake of the Ozarks Convention and Visitors Bureau and just Osage Beach right here. And I want to specifically recognize Legina Fitzpatrick. She is the president of that local CVB. And then also John Neparadny. I think he's actually in the crowd somewhere, but he has been a big part of lobbying for us to bring essentially a super tournament uh, uh, here to this, uh, this uh, <coughs> area for really two weeks. We uh, start off with a college series tournament today. Uh, we'll end it. Uh, then on Sunday we have a high school tournament and then next week, we end of the week with uh, the Academy Sports and Outdoors uh, Bass Nation Central Regional. So a lot of exciting things happening. Also want to uh, certainly thank Lake of the Ozark State Park and specifically here Public Beach Number 2. Uh, they've let us take over this whole parking lot for that whole time. And if you're familiar with the area, we're right here in front of the swim beach and uh, just an awesome staff, and we certainly thank them. And our host hotel, The Inn at Grand Glaze. I also want to recognize all of our sponsors. Our title, Carhartt, been with us since the inception of the College Series back in 2011, and they carry over their support with the anglers, and uh, they specifically titled an angler everybody might know, the new reigning Geico Bassmaster Classic champion, Jordan Lee, who is represented by Carhartt, and we certainly appreciate all of their support in bass fishing. Our presenting sponsor, Bass Pro Shops, been with us now for two years, and uh, they are certainly a great partner. Our platinum vehicle sponsor, Toyota. And then also on that premier level, Yamaha Outboards, Power Pole, Hook Apparel, Nitro Boats, Mercury Outboards, Triton, Berkeley, Humminbird, and Minn Kota. On the supporting level, our friends at Shimano, we got Lisa and Frank right back there showcasing a lot of their Shimano products. So if you want to go see them, please do so. They're right back there. They got a, a ton of products on display for you to check out. Also, Advanced Auto Parts, uh, St. Croix Rods, Dick Sepek Tires, Costa Sunglasses, Livingston Lures, Abu Garcia, Lawrence Electronics, and Phoenix Boats. And we have Greg back there uh, under the Phoenix Boat Tent. If you want to learn more about Phoenix Boats out there, please... Uh, Go check that out. He's got uh, some catalogs up and everything. Then lastly, I want to thank Bass and Bob back here. They have been at, they sponsored our meal the night before the tournament, which was win, uh, Wednesday, Tuesday night, typically Wednesday, but for this tournament on Tuesday. They've been out there every morning with donuts, coffee, orange juice, milk for all of the angler, anglers, and then out here every night or every evening at weigh-in with hot dogs, chips, cookies, Anything you want if you're an angler when you come off the water. And, uh, and it's awesome. They're going to do it again on Sunday for high school, and then they're going to do it again next week for the Nation Divisional. So thank you guys for that. And then one other specific shout-out to our Missouri Bass Nation right here, all of uh, the, the, the Blankenbeckers and Karen and John and the people you don't see backstage. We have several uh, people back there who are helping us with all of our operations. And we got BJ who's going to be weighing the fish for us today. And uh, we certainly could not do, do it without them. And we always go, any, any place we go, we always lean on that state nation to help us. And the Missouri Bass Nation is always there for us. So with all of those people I just recognized, uh, if you guys would help me by showing our appreciation by offering up one big round of applause. All right, we do have a special treat on hand for us today. Uh, he's here on behalf of St. Croix Rods. We're going to bring him up, though. His name is Joe Ballack, and he is with... Uh, Sorry, Joe, I could have made that a little bit easier with uh, Millennium Productions, right? Yep. And uh, he wants to say a few things about some uh, uh, new opportunities uh, through St. Croix, a new supporting level sponsor for us. And uh, Joe, take it away. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, as Hank said, I'm Joe Baylog. I'm originally from up north. Uh, I was just, just razzing these guys from Lake Superior State because I'm a Michigan guy. And, and, uh, uh, but now I live in Florida, so you can... Uh, boo. Uh, but I'm here on behalf of St. Croix, and, and I want to just let the anglers know that St. Croix has a really good collegiate program. They have a high school program. They have a lot of different programs right now for anglers, regardless of who you're affiliated with, that helps to introduce you to the sport and helps to sponsor you uh, in professional bass fishing. Should you take that road? Um, I myself competed in the Bassmaster Opens and qualified for the elites and have run around the country doing that for a long time. 
Uh, but I never had that kind of program. I never had something where just coming in at the college level, there were companies like Shimano, like St. Croix, like like all the other sponsors that Hank mentioned that were willing to, to really go to bat for you guys and almost introduce themselves to you. See, when I started, it was the other way around. You had to go out and knock on doors to get sponsors. St. Croix now has a program beginning this year where they're going to start introducing at a, at a discounted level product to these guys, and then as they use it, as they grow with it, as they put it on social media, they're going to start taking applications for full sponsorships, for big sponsorships, for entire team sponsorships in the very new future. Uh, so you're going to see major expansion from a lot of companies, St. Croix included. So as you guys are getting used to the product and using the product and giving some exposure to the product and talking about it on Facebook and putting it on Instagram and all those things, we'll come back to you with even better deals. So look up St. Croix. I'm going to be giving out hats, but more importantly, look up all these companies because they're coming to you because this is a really important thing. We saw that last week at the Classic. Jordan Lee hit a home run, knocked it out of the park, and gave everybody from 12 years old to 20 years old a reason to dream. This could happen, guys. Stick with it. Good luck today. Thank you very much. And go McKendry. That's where we're going, McKendry. Thank you, Joe. All right, I can't weigh the fish without bringing up our Waymaster. Again, he's with the Missouri Bass Nation. Please uh, help me welcome him up, B.J. Blankenbecker. Come on up, B.J. This place is on fire. It is that. I mean, we were looking back here, guys, and the, the weights, we had a shortened day on day one with the weather. Still saw a 22-pound bag. Still saw an 18-pound bag, a 19-pound bag. Full day yesterday, they caught... Yesterday, a big bag of 21 pounds, but I want to tell you the total weight. I think it was 1,100 pounds of bass. My cold fingers aren't working. 1,100, uh, day one, 1,124 pounds and 12 ounces of fish, 38 limits. Yesterday, 55 limits, 1,163 pounds and 14 ounces. And folks, this is the big one I like right here. Day one, 388 fish brought to the scales, all 388 fish alive. Day number two, 400 fish brought to the scales, all 400 fish alive. Put back in that Shimano live release boat and taken right back out on that lake right there. So help me thank my staff for that. Say that to say this. I've seen some big bags. I don't think we've seen the biggest bag of the week yet. No, I don't think so. I think today is going to be even better. We have gotten a little bit of a sneak peek, and uh, it, the, the leaderboard is tight. Uh, is this typical this time of year? I mean, you're from here. You fish here. You fish our Bass Pro Shops, Bass Master Opens. I mean, is this usual? This lake's a great lake. Uh, it's always been a great lake. But I will say this spring, late winter, this early spring, uh, has just been outstanding. Uh, we've had some high weights coming in uh, on, on the weekend tournaments. Uh, it's just been great. It has been great, but you guys know what we do if you've been here the past few days. We don't start any tournament takeoff or any way in without honoring this great nation that we live in. So if everyone would please pause. The flag is directly over me as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem.
All right, let's, let's go through that leaderboard real fast before we get started. So let's start in 20th place. This team is bookending the top 20. They're in 20th, and they're also in first. Lake Superior State, Hunter Sharphorn, and Jake Adaroni had 29 pounds, 11 ounces through uh, two days. All right, I'm going to jump up. So they had 29-11. I'm going to go up to 15th place. 30 pounds, 12 ounces, their two-day total. So one pound, one ounce separates 15th to 20th. And that 15th place team is Missouri State, Paul Davis, and Shane Parker. Let's jump up to 10th. 32-2. McKendry University, Brock Wilkie and Brady Faust. Looking at this leaderboard, so not to go through everybody, but from 6th down to 9th, those are all 33 pounds and change. From 10th, excuse me, from nine, uh, 9 and 10, those are 32-pound bags. And we're talking ounces that separate these, these teams. Let's go through the top, the top five. Murray State, 5th place, Hunter Mills, Hunter McKinley, 33 pounds, 7 ounces. 4th place, Missouri, Mizzou, Chandler Robertson, and Austin Culbertson, 35-8. 3rd place, another team from McKendry. They led after day one, Jacob Lewis and J.T. Russell, 38-5. Second place, Wisconsin Whitewater, Louis Dazzo and Colin Kropp had 21-3 yesterday, 40 pounds, 15 ounces. And your day number two leaders brought in 21-15, Lake Superior State University, Nick Rand and Keegan Russell with 41 pounds, 6 ounces. All right, that's the, that's the stage that is set, the way it's going to work. We're weighing them in 20 through 1. We have a scripted weigh-in today. If they take the lead... They're going right there in the hot seat. So if your team is sitting there, that is a very, very good thing. The way the cookie crumbled, we had 138 boats in the field. That is enough to get 19 teams into the national championship. So unfortunately, there is just one team out of this 20-boat field that will not be making it to the national championship. But that makes it that more interesting with what they were fishing for today. So my last part that I have to do... Before we weigh them is to check and see if you guys are ready to see some fish. So I'll give you a three count, and you got to scream as loud as you can to let me know that you're ready. So on three, let's hear it. One, two, three. If you've ever been to a weigh-in that I MC, you know that's a practice run. we got to double that this time. So on three, let's really hear it. I want everybody over there down at the docks knowing that we're about to start the weigh-in and in so Osage Beach. So on three, let's really hear it. One, two, three. That's pretty good right there. All right, BJ, step over. We are ready to go, and let's get this party started. Sitting in 20th place coming into today, the Lake Superior State. Come on up. Hunter Sharphorn and Jake Deroney had 29-11 through two days. They are bringing four more in today. These four need to go 11 pounds, 12 ounces for you guys to get into the lead. You got it. 12 pounds even right there, and this team, for the moment, is sitting in the lead. So there you go, your new leaders for the moment, Lake Superior State. Good job, guys. All right, Hunter, so right now it's good enough. That means every team behind you has to beat you for you guys to be that one team not, uh, not advancing. It's going to be close. I saw them back with the weights back there. Let's talk about the fishing. Just fantastic fishing uh, this week. I mean, a, a, a three-day total, 41 pounds, 11 ounces. Anytime you go and do that, that's, that's, a, that's a lake that's fishing really well right now. There's definitely a lot of big fish out there, but every day has been a grind for us, and obviously we only had four fish today, but it's been tough. Jake, what was the key this week? I want to know how you guys caught them. Well, you know, in practice we found they were really hitting a chatterbait really well because no one was really throwing it, we found. Um, and then yesterday and today, it kind of turned off because it got colder. So today we threw a jig all day, and we had those four. But the first day, our 17-pound bag came all in a chatterbait. Uh, what about yesterday? You guys had a big bag yesterday. We didn't have a big bag. You, you had a 12-pound bag, excuse me. Well, how'd you catch them yesterday? Uh, chatterbait and a jig. He picked up a jig, and we caught our fifth fish in the last 15 minutes. It was a three-pounder, so that got us in. All right, Hunter. Well, who do you want to say hi to or thanks to? I want to say thanks to my dad for letting us use the boat this week and uh, our school and Bass for putting on this tournament. How about you, Jake? 
I want to thank all of our sponsors back up in uh, Sault Ste. Marie. Sault Ste. Marie uh, Visitors and Conventions Bureau is, does an awesome job for us. The school sponsors all of our tournaments. My dad and came down for the tournament, so we just want to thank everybody that supports us along the way. Guys sitting in the lead right now, let's hear for them. Lake Superior State, Hunter Sharphorn, and Jake Deroney. We'll see how long you can last. Coming to you in 19th place after day number two from Murray State, Lance Freeman and Cameron Brooks. Come on up, guys. 29-14 through two days. You have a five-bass limit in there. You need 11 pounds, 14 ounces to take over it. And you got it. 14 pounds, 14 ounces. Murray State now jumps to the top of that leaderboard. One last round of applause for Lake Superior State. Good job, guys. We'll see if it's enough to get you in. And there are your new leaders, Murray State, Lance Freeman, and Cameron Brooks. Good job. All right, Cameron. So, by law of averages, first place, there's only 18 teams left to go in. That means you can only fall to 19th, which means you're headed to the national championship. Yeah, the Lord blessed us today. It, it was awesome. The last uh, we caught our last keeper at 9:30, and uh, our, our fourth fish at 9:30, and about at 2:15 we had well, we caught that bigger one and called again after that. So I mean, I prayed since about one o'clock that I'd catch. We'd finish our limit, and he blessed us. Well, and Lance, you, you, you won one of these last year over at Clinton Lake in Illinois, and uh, so you know what that's like. But I know your ultimate goal always coming to these is to make it to the national championship. That's exactly right, Hank. I mean, you know, winning that one last year was great, but every time you come to one of these, your main goal is make it to that next level, like always. And he was telling you all about that fifth fish 10 minutes to go. Let me just tell you, I, I'm glad them fish don't hold grudges because they all hate me. I could have kissed that fish right on the mouth. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, I'll be honest with you. So I just took a death what we had today, 14-14 with five fish. That's more than more than enough to put us in there anyway. It is. So uh, what was the key this week? <laughs> That's a really good question. I think, you know, we had 12 pounds and 18 pounds and 14 pounds. We're all over the place. There really isn't a key. I mean, the key is just cover as much water, put it in a high percentage place, and hope to goodness one eats. And we just got lucky today. We caught six keepers. There's five of them weigh 14-14. So that's our key was just getting lucky, I guess. Let's get some thank yous, recognitions in. Who you want to say hey to? Absolutely. I want to say thank you to everybody back home, my Uncle Steve especially. Uh, my parents came all the way up here six and a half hours, you know, just to watch me and Cameron weigh in this week. Tickled to death, we were able to, you know, qualify. So everybody back home, everybody out here in the crowd, I mean, this is awesome. This many people out here watching a bass fishing weigh-in. So, I mean, it's because it, the sport of college fishing is going great. Thanks to you guys at BASS and, and everybody out there watching. All right, Cameron, who else you want to recognize? Uh, my nephew's back home, and Lance's boat messed up this week, and my dad met us halfway so we didn't have to drive all the way back to Kentucky. And Awesome move right there, Dad. But uh, I just want to thank all the fans and our sponsors at Murray State, and just thank the Lord. Guys, you are in right now. Leaders, let's hear it for them, and they are headed to the national championship. We'll see how long they last. All right, this next team coming up. We're in 18th place from Wisconsin Stout, Justin Granaccio and Michael Tesh. Come on up, guys. 30 pounds, 6 ounces through two days. You have five more. You need 14, 7. 11 pounds, 13 ounces. Jumps you up to second place right there, guys. Reach in there, and we'll let you hold some up. Not going to have you in the lead. But still has you guys also headed to that national championship as we have weighed in three teams now, and the worst you can finish is 19th place. So there you go, headed to the national championship one time for Wisconsin Stout, Justin Guarnaccio and Michael Tesh. All right, guys, so a successful tournament, headed to the national championship. It's got to feel good. Oh, it feels really good. That was our goal, uh, to make it to the next round, and, and we did it, so... Feels really good right now. It was a stressful day. I'm sure for all these guys back there. So um, we're we're happy right now. All right, Michael, give me some details. How'd you catch them? On a jerk bait on Main Lake points and really cracking the jerk bait. Um, that seemed to be the only way we could get bites if it was a reaction strike. And 
we had a really tough practice, kind of figured it out the last day, and we just rolled with it, just running around. Running around, okay. Well, that's good. Uh, Justin, who we want to say hi to or thanks to? Say it one more time. Hi or thanks to? Yeah, I want to say I have a lot of things to say. Um, first thing, all these guys here, you guys made this competition a hell of a one, and um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, friends and family back at home, thank you guys. I want to thank my mom for letting me use the boat, um, and uh, thank you everyone here. So it was, great. it was a great tournament. Thank you, you guys, for putting on a great tournament. Well, we thank you guys. Michael? I want to say uh, thanks to my parents back home watching and uh, my girlfriend, Leah. Um, thanks for supporting me with all of this. Guys, great job. Let's hear it one more time. University of Wisconsin Stout, Justin and Michael headed to the national championship. All right, Bemidji State, come on up. Austin Moe and Isaac Johnson, 30 pounds, 7 ounces. Through two days, five more in your bag, and they need to go 14-6. Looking for 14-6. 10 pounds, 14 ounces, all the way up to fifth place for this Bemidji State team. Guys, we'll have you reach in there and hold us some up. Gives you a two-day total of 41-5. So we can't officially say you were in yet, but you were borderline. But there you go. Good job, guys. One round of applause for Bemidji State, Austin, and Isaac. 41-5 through three days. Who, Austin? I don't know, man. That's going to be tight for you guys. You're going to be right there on the line. Yeah, I know. Uh, unfortunately, I, I don't know if it's going to It's going to be close. But, um, you know, we fished clean today, and we didn't lose any fish. We just didn't get the big ones to bite, and, you know, that happens. But, uh, you know, we'll see how it works out. Keys this week, Isaac? Uh, we found them mostly just uh, on points and docks and stuff, on spinner bait, chatter bait and stuff. Catch a lot of fish this week, or is it kind of hard? you just catching the right keepers at, you know, five a day? Um, first day we caught probably eight or nine keepers. Uh, the first five that we caught were the five that we weighed in. Um, yesterday was probably about six keepers, and today we had, you know, about that eight, nine range. Um it seemed like the bigger bites came on the spinnerbait, uh, and that just didn't work out today. Um, I don't know if it was a cold front or what, but, uh, you know, that happens. So Isaac, uh, who do you want to say hi to or thanks to? I'd like to say hi to all my family watching back home and my girlfriend, Abby. Uh, they support me a lot through all this. How about you, Austin? Um, big shout-out to my parents and grandparents that drove all the way from Minnesota. Cheer me on. Um, all my friends, family watching uh, online. Uh, our school and sponsors do a lot for us. And uh, my teammates, um, Thor and Mitch, are backstage. Hopefully they'll make it, too. And we've got some others in the crowd. So, Well, guys, go cross your fingers. You might get in. It's going to be very tight. Good job. All right, we are down to the next team. They were in 16th coming in to today. Come on up from Missouri State, Crossley Welch and Matt Builder. All right, you got 30 pounds, 11 ounces through two days. Three more in there today. Need 14-2 to take over the lead. Three fish. Three good ones. 11 pounds, 8 ounces, all the way up to second place for this team. So that those three fish right there have punched their ticket to the national championship. Reach in there, guys. Hold them up. You're only going to catch three. They better be the right ones, and it looks like it has been for this team. And I can sense a uh, sigh of relief from this team. Let's hear it for them from Missouri State, Crossley Welch and Matt Builder. <sighs> well... Heart racing a little bit? Oh, it's racing still, man. It's, uh, thank God we made it. Um, you know, we were sweating it out all day. We got three big bites early, and we thought, okay, we're, we either catch a good one or, like, a short short, and it's weird. So um, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Avid Outdoors, Luz. Uh, thanks to all our teammates for coming out. Uh, thanks for watching the weigh-in. And uh, thank you all, everybody that came out, all the competitors. So Thank you, Bass, for putting this on. And we'll be uh, looking forward to going to the national championship, hopefully. Crossley, tell me what's going through your head right now. Oh, uh, we're we're real excited. Uh, it was. We thought if we got four that are over twelve, we would be in, but uh, we 
were struggling. We had those by nine o'clock, and every fish we caught, they're they're good. Other than you know, we we'll catch a couple of shorts, but every keeper we caught was a good one. Didn't lose anything. And I just like to thank my parents. They uh, obviously are the reason I get to come do this, and they help me out quite a bit. And thank Avid Outdoors. He helped us out quite a bit. He's given us allowing us to get us around fish, and we're just happy. I think we're going to be in the in the top 19. So. Oh, you're definitely in the top 19. I can officially say you're headed to the national championship. So you guys are good. You're in second place right now. The worst you can finish is like 16th. So good job, guys. All right, some of their teammates from Missouri State. Come on up. Paul Davis and Shane Parker had 30 pounds, 12 ounces. Through two days, you got five more in your bag. Looks like you might give a run at the lead. You need 14 pounds in an ounce. Got it. 17 pounds even in Missouri State. Takes over that lead. There's a nice one. That might make a run at Carhartt Big Bass. There you go, your new leaders, Missouri State, Paul Davis, Shane Parker, 47 pounds, 12 ounces. All right, still got a Big Bass, at 7 pounds, 5 ounces. You need that to tie anything bigger, it's yours outright. 514 on that fish, so... Uh, not going to be big bass, but, man, you guys are in the lead, headed to the national championship, might make a run at taking home this hardware. Been a great week for you. Yeah, you know, the first day was a little rough. We managed to scrape out a small limit. So um, if we would have done better on the first day, I would have been feeling more, more comfortable to get those top three because we got a lot of big bags to come. But uh, I'd really like to thank all our sponsors, Sportsman Factory Outlet. They help us out a lot along with Avid Outdoors. And uh, everybody that came out, my parents came to watch us, so. It's, uh, it's been a good day so far. All right, Brian, how'd you catch all those fish this week? Uh, let's see. We caught most of them on jigs, and we did a little bit of spinnerbait, too, a homemade spinnerbait. Did your water color change while you were out there? Uh, not too bad. It was pretty mostly clear green up where we were. Because I noticed definitely in this pocket right here, it definitely changed colors. Yes, it did. All right, well, uh, who do we want to say hi to or thanks to? I want to say thanks to my parents first off and, of course, to all our sponsors, but especially Avid Outdoors. And anyone else, Paul, you want to recognize? Oh, man, you know, the big one above, and uh, he, uh, he definitely planned it out well for us today. And uh, thanks for everybody coming out and watching us. Thanks for Bass for putting it on, and uh, I guess we're ready to go fishing tomorrow too. So, All right, guys, great job. Hey, the national championship, new leaders. Let's hear it one more time from Murray State, Cameron Brooks, and Lance Freeman. They're also head of the national championship successful tournament. All right, this team is your defending School national champions, their teammates Kyle Asup and Taylor Bivens took it home last year in Campbellsville, Kentucky. They're sitting in 14th place coming in to day number three. Let's welcome up from Kansas State, Sheldon Rogie and Travis Blinn. Trying to get back to that national championship, 31-2 uh, through two days. Five more in your bag. You need 16-11 to take over the lead. 12 pounds, three ounces, all the way up to third place for this K-State team. So good job, guys, right there. Sitting in third place, Kansas State, Sheldon Rogie, Travis Blinn, 43 pounds, 5 ounces. Doing a little math here. You're in third place. We've weighed in seven. We have 13 left to go. If all 13 beat you, you finish 16th, so you're heading to the national championship. How's that sound? <laughs> Sounds great to me. I'm looking forward to it. Well, Sh Sheldon, how'd you guys catch them this week? We caught them a little bit everything. I mean, we just covered a lot of water. We hit 25, 30 spots in a day, and we had to adjust every day. Um, we left them biting yesterday and thought we were going to be able to come back and catch them good, and we just kept catching shorts. We made a little adjustment and come back to that spot, and we finished our limit at 1.30. It was, it was a grind all week. The fish changed every day. So, Who do you want to say hey to and uh, thanks to, Travis? Uh, as always, family, friends, uh, people watching back home. Our teammates have come out to watch weigh in. All of our great sponsors Shimano, Loomis, G Loomis, Costa, 
Snack Daddy, Jewel Jigs, all of them. They're great. And then, Sheldon, you guys physically didn't win it. Your teammates did. You were at the championship, made a run at it. What's it been like for you reigning national champions for your school this year? It's a cool experience. Um, this is the second national championship K-State's won first for Bass, and we're looking forward to going back to hopefully defend their title. Give a run at it. All right, who else do you want to say hey to or thanks to? I'd like to thank my parents. They came out, Travis's parents, and all of our K-State uh, members that are out watching and supporting us. We actually had a K-State team that was getting ready for tomorrow. They rolled up. And uh, we're like, how are you guys doing? Right as we caught our fifth fish. So they got to experience that and get pictures. And it was just a neat experience. And they had a nice little gallery right there. Good job, guys. Headed to the championship. Let's hear it for them. Kansas State. All right. He's been all by himself all week. Good enough to have him in 13th place coming into today from Kent State. Come on up, Tanner Ward. He might make a run at taking over this lead. Five more in your bag. You need these five to go 16 pounds, eight ounces to take over the lead. What I say you need? 16 and eight. Guess what he's got? 16 pounds, eight ounces right there. So to the ounce, Tanner Ward by himself has taken over that lead. There you go. Let's hear it for your new leader, not leaders, Kent State Tanner Ward. All right, Tanner, so you're actually out of this conference, but you had some school obligations where we had to get you switched over here, legally did that, and, man, you are making the best of it right now sitting in first place. Yeah, sure am. Had a blast out there today. I mean, I've been fishing real slow and painstaking, but I got five today, and it worked. So You headed the national championship, leading the tournament. So uh, what, what key lures? I mean, it's, just tell me what's going through your head right now. I'm just excited and anxious about everything, but – I've been dragging a football jig on points all week, and that seemed to work, so glad it did. All right, let's, uh, who do we want to say hey to, thanks to? Uh, my mom and Brooke and my girlfriend, Skylar, they came down this morning to watch the final day. So and everybody back home, thanks for watching. We've had two other solo winners. Uh, Jacob Wall from Oregon took home uh, the Western Conference title last year, and then we had uh, a West Virginia student uh, take home a trophy in lacrosse like four years ago. So it's only happened two other times, and you might make a go at it. Oh, I don't know. You should see the bag behind me. <laughs> it's huge. It, uh, there has been some good bags, but go enjoy the hot seat while you can. One more, one more round of applause for Missouri State as Tanner takes over the hot seat. And we will keep rolling through uh, this leaderboard. All right, they're sitting in 12th, coming in to uh, today. Had 31 pounds, 10 ounces. Let's get loud as they come to the stage. From SEMO, Jacob Harris and Tyler Smith. We want to get the weight on it first. All right, 31-10. Through two days. This might be the big bag of the tournament. You need 16-4 to take it over. It is the big bag of the tournament. 23 pounds, 9 ounces right there for SEMO. That gives them a two-day total of 50, a three-day total, excuse me, of 55 pounds, 3 ounces. So let's hear Let's get loud for your new leaders. Big bag of the tournament, new Bass Pro Nitro big bag, Southeast Missouri, Jacob Harris, Tyler Smith. I think this is probably going to be a mere formality. 7-5 you need to tie for Carhartt Big Bass, $500 Carhartt bit, big ba uh, Carhartt gift card. If it's anything bigger than 7-5, uh, you got it, and you got it. 7 pounds, 13 ounces right there on that Big Bass. Personal best? Yep, uh, I had uh, six and three-quarter before this, so. You beat that by, by a whole pound. Yep, I uh, caught it on a spinnerbait next to a dock. Early, late, middle of the day? Uh, about 9 o'clock. Okay, so that was a good, uh, where you, where, how, what fish was that in your limit? That was the first one. That was a good start. Yep. <laughs> get your blood pumping? Boy, I couldn't stop shaking. I always like to, whoever caught it, I always like to get the net uh, guy's perspective. So walk us through that fish catch. Well, he threw it up next to a dock, and uh, he said, get the net. <laughs> he said, if this is a bass, it's a giant. And uh, it bowled up, and I about had a heart attack. Once you got him in the net, then what happened? Uh, we would have made Iconelli look bad. That might have been what I thought was thunder earlier today, the, the, the roar I heard. 
Yeah, I think that was it. <laughs> what were you doing the whole time while the fish is on the line? I was just hoping it'd stay on. We saw it come up, and I was like, we need this one. So I just tried to keep it on. I mean, now you guys are in the lead. You're going to the national championship. You got the big bag of the tournament. You got the big bass of the tournament. It's a good day number three for you. Yeah, it was. I had a, had a chance at a, a mega bag. I mean, I lost a, probably about a six, six-and-a-half-pounder at the boat, and uh, it would have called me up by another three-and-a-half. You guys lost a six-pounder today, too? Yep. It would have called me up another three-and-a-half pounds, probably. Wow. All right, so spinner baits is what I heard. Yeah, uh, first day it was uh, all spinner bait. Second day, uh, spinner bait, three quarter rounds, uh, double six wheels, big spinner bait. I was slow rolling it, and uh, I was catching over brush in about eight ten foot of water. And then uh, today we went up there. I I knew my fish were gone. I mean, I didn't. I milked them out first two days, and I went up there and we got that one big one at eleven thirty. I said, "We got to go. Let's go catch us a lemon." I knew we'd come down here, and it was it was like a light switch. That's all. Let's get some thank yous out. Who you want to say hey to? I'd just like to say thank you to my girlfriend and my friends and family for watching us back home. I really appreciate all the support. Who else? I want to say thanks to my mom right here, my dad. They drove down this morning, and um, everyone watching on Bassmaster.com. I'm sure they are happy that they drove down. Good job, guys. One more round of applause for them. Shake hands with Tanner for Kent State all by himself, heading to the national championship. Good job, Tanner. All right. Like we said, the leaderboard continues to get interesting. We get ready to bring in the next team, their teammates from SEMO. Come on up, Sean Solomon and Nicholas Moore. Five fish in your bag. You need 23-3 to take it over. 14 pounds, 11 ounces, all the way up to fourth place for this SEMO team. Reach in there, guys. We'll have you hold them up. There you go. Good job, guys. Fourth place right now. All right, so we have weighed in 10. You're in fourth. It means we got 10 teams to go. It means the worst you can finish is 14th. So that means you're headed to the national championship. Well, I tell you what, about 1.30, we were ready to choke each other. We had three fish in the boat, and we pulled up to a hot bank, and what do you know? The Lord bless us again, man. Did you guys have anything at that point? We had three fish. Okay. We had three keepers. Uh, yeah, we ended up in about an hour. Well, I guess until 2.30, we called three separate times. So made it happen, you know. I put on my Snapchat story this morning. I said, hoping for a miracle, and we got the miracle. All right, what would you catch those on? Uh, spinner baits the first two days, but today we could only get one keeper off of it, and the other, t other two, or the rest of the four, came off crankbaits. So we just got lucky, I guess. It's shallow, deep. Uh, I was throwing a 3XD. He was throwing a rock crawler. Right, so pretty shallow. Pretty shallow. That first couple cranks, if they're not on there, you may as well reel it back to the boat. Right, so say, uh, let's recognize some people who you want to say hi to or thanks to. My mom, dad, uncle, grandpa, they drove down to see me weigh in. Uh, girlfriend back home, everybody watching on Bassmaster Live. Uh, huge thanks for Sean. He opened up his place on the lake for the whole team to stay. It was, you know, right around the corner. It was awesome. You know, helped us out a lot, saved us some money, so. John, who else? Uh, I'd like to thank my grandparents because it's not my place. It's actually their place. So You guys didn't turn it into a pure spring break college pad, did you? Oh, yeah, second spring break of the year, so it's not a bad time. Grandparents, I'm apologizing on behalf of the SEMO team, okay? Yep, hey, we're both going, so that's all we could ask for right now. Uh, who else? Uh, anyone else out there? Uh, family and friends watching at the way in My mom's watching, so good to see everybody. Good turn. You guys go back and get that house clean so they'll want to do it again. But good job. Let's hear for SEMO, head of the national championship. All right, we are down to the top ten, the top ten teams left. And here they come from McKendree University, Brock, Wilkie, and Brady Faust. Come on up, guys. And they have a big bag of fish, 32-2 through two days. You need a big bag to take over the lead, 23 pounds, 2 ounces will unseat SEMO. And they might have that looking for 23-2. 22 pounds, 2 ounces, just 1 pound shy of that, but that is a 22-pound bag. Good job, guys. Jump you all the way up to second place, a mega bag. You guys were a little nervous. Yeah, I was pretty nervous. But you survived it. 
All right, let's hear it for McKendry. A big bag, 22 pounds today. Gives him a 54-4 three-day total. Good enough for second place. Brock, that just speaks to how well this place is fishing. You get a 22-pound bag, you got 54 pounds, almost a 20-pound average for three days, and you're in second place. Yeah, it was a great day today. It really was. How would you catch that big bag? Uh, a lot of jig, a lot of jerkbait, a lot of crankbait. Catch a lot of big fish today, Brody? Yeah, we had a lot of fish out there. Brady, excuse me. You're good. Uh, yeah, we had a lot of big fish out there, and I lost another six-pounder that would have helped a little bit. So. Might have done it, and I hate to tell you that. Yeah, I mean, if there's time to lose a six-pounder, today was the day, though. So. Still a great day of fishing here in the national championship, going back to that. Uh, I know you got a proud team over here, your whole McKendry squad. Uh, great. We signed a kid yesterday to go to your school, so that uh, train just keeps on rolling. You guys are definitely uh, – McKendry's going to be around for a long time in college fishing. Absolutely. We you know, I can't thank our coach enough, Co our coach and his wife, Carla. I mean, without them, we'd be uh, nothing. We thank them, too, because on Sunday we're going to have something pretty special, too. The winning high school team is going to be extended an offer to go to uh, McKendry uh, University, too, so it's going to be awesome there, too. Brady, who do we want to say hey to, thanks to, recognize out there? Uh, say thanks to my parents out there and my girlfriend back home, uh, John and Carla, for helping us out, and McKendry University for letting us do this. Rock? Yeah, definitely John and Carla. My dad, he's watching, and my girlfriend, Leah, definitely. All right, guys, one more time for McKendry. A huge bag for today, 22 pounds, 2 ounces. Again, that just shows you about Lake of the Ozark. I mean, they, they nail a 22-pound bag, and it still isn't enough to get them in the lead. Fishing fantastic right now. All right, this next team was in ninth place. They are from Bemidji. Let's welcome them up the Swansons, Thor and Mitch. 32-6. You guys have only four in your bag. Let's see if we can get you inside that top 19. Four fish, 13 pounds, five ounces, all the way up to sixth place for you guys. Reach in there, hold a sum up. I don't know if you want to hold up that other one. That's okay. But there you go. Their four are enough. They're in sixth place right now. We only have eight teams left to go. They'll drop them down to 14th place. Got them headed to the national championship. This one big fish is the reason you guys are headed to that national championship. Six pounds, 14 ounces, almost a seven-pounder. You didn't think it was that big? No, I, uh, yeah, I didn't think it was that big. I think it was maybe somewhere between five and six, but you always kind of lowball so you don't get excited, right? I mean, that, that fish is probably the reason you're headed to the national championship. Yeah, it was a good thing that we caught it. I caught it third cast this morning, and this was the best morning that we've had all week, so we were pretty pumped, and all of a sudden just tailed off after that. So we don't really know what happened, but we're pretty glad that uh, we caught what we did. I'm sure, uh, Mitch, you've been uh, sweating it backstage oh. with just having four in your bag. Oh, yeah, we were freaking out. We were trying to do math and try to see what everybody else has. And, yeah, we were pretty nervous. Well, you're in, so that's a good thing. You know you're headed back, and uh, you guys were there last year, and uh, so you know what it's like to make it to that. Thor, uh, what was the key this week? I want to know how you guys called it. Uh, this week we caught everything pretty shallow. Um, we used a, a jig and a spinner bait, and that's pretty much what we did all week. We couldn't get anything going out deep, so we kind of went back to our roots and fished shallow. Mitch, who do you want to say hey to or thanks to? I want to say happy birthday to my dad. Uh, say hi to my mom, my grandma, grandpa, uncle, and my girlfriend. Thor? Well, uh, we pretty much share everything besides a girlfriend. Uh, so I'll say hi to my girlfriend. There you go. And I do want, I like to joke on him a little bit. Anybody from Osage Beach in the crowd? You know that monster hailstorm we had the other night? These guys were in a tent while that was happening. So uh, we need to work on that a little bit. But good job. Let's hear it one more time for the Swansons. Head of that national championship. All right, so we keep going. They keep uh, cruising up in the standings. This team was in eighth place coming into today. From Murray State, Austin Butler and Will Gentry. Come on up, guys. Four fish. 33-1 through two days. Four fish, nine pounds, 12 ounces. Got you guys in ninth place right now. We have weighed in 13. We have seven to go. What's seven to nine? Seven to nine. What's seven plus nine? Sixteen. That means you're in. Right. Reach in there, hold them up. I'm testing them. There you go. They 
They're in. So just like you guys, you only had four. So lost I'm sure you one. lost the fifth one. I'm sure you were a little nervous back there too. Oh, we were very nervous. We were. I, that really sucked. I'm just going to be honest. It was terrible. We lost that fifth fish. We didn't really have a great day. Broke the jerk bait. We were catching them on. Uh, lost the original wiggle wart we were using, by the way. An original wiggle wart? Original wiggle wart. And by the way, I'd like to thank uh, Mike Russell, our sponsor from Bag 5 Baits, for custom painting us for them. They've been a big ticket to us catching fish this week. No, those are uh, those are high dollar. I'd like to thank uh, all the guys with the Murray State Bass Anglers. They're a gro great group, group of guys, and uh, my parents couldn't do it without them. Well, guys, you were in. I know you were very nervous, but now you can breathe a sigh of relief. Let's hit for them one more time from Murray State as we keep cruising on. All right, this next team was sitting in seventh coming into today from Missouri State. Let's welcome them up. Luke Parlow and Brad Burton at 33-3. This is that group we had, I think, three or four bags in the 33-pound range. Step up right here, guys. They got a good bag of fish. You need 22-1 to take over the lead. 17 pounds in an ounce all the way up to third place for this Missouri State team. So that has them also headed to that national championship. So there you go. Good job. Luke Parlow, Brad Burton, Missouri State, 50 pounds, four ounces through three days, headed to the ship. Well, that's got to feel good, Nick. Oh, it feels great, but uh, yeah, we don't have our jerseys yet, so I got to slap on Nick's jersey for it. Sorry, you're not Nick. Who are you? Luke, Luke. You're Luke, and you're Brad. So, yeah, you got Nick's jersey. That, that's the college way they share jerseys, too. Yeah, well, we ours aren't in yet, so, you know, we got to look good up here. You, do, you guys do look good. All right, Brad, uh, how we catch them this week? Uh, throwing jigs, spinner bait, creature bait, a little bit of everything. I don't think you guys are giving up too much because you might have a tournament tomorrow, but that's all right. Uh, what? Uh, so, uh, deep, shallow, give me something. Honestly, both. We caught them on a lot of main lake points, secondary points, and we even found them real shallow on the back of coves. Catching a lot of fish? Yeah, probably close to 10 every day. So, fun day out there. A lot of fun. Great fun, yeah. So who do we want to say hey to, Luke? Uh, I just want to thank my family, my friends, uh, my buddy Mike Shellhays. He get, he hooked us up with a house and a uh, boat this weekend, and all of our sponsors out there. What about you, Brad? Uh, friends, family, uh, girlfriend. That's about it. All right, guys, good job. Head to the national championship, sitting in third place right now, Luke and Brad. All right, next team sitting in sixth place. Come on up, Heartland Community College, Justin and Austin Carr. Identical twins, if you can't tell. All right, five in your bag. You need 21-14 to take it over. 17 pounds, seven ounces, all the way up to third place for the cars, and they are also headed to that national championship. There you go. Let's hear it for the cars. Identical twins, 50 pounds, 13 ounces, headed to the national championship. All right, guys, so you, obviously you're brothers. You work well as a team, punching your ticket to we know where you're going. You don't know where you're going yet, but uh, it's going to be fun. But uh, you're headed there. Yeah, I can't wait for it. This is uh, my – I'm a freshman this year, so uh... – this is one of my first college tournaments ever, and uh, it was awesome how we did this week. My first time ever fishing this lake. Uh, we we put a good pattern together, and we managed to get enough weight to put us through. Pretty good start for your first college tournament. Yeah, I mean it, it was great. We had we had a blast this week. I mean, I mean it, it was it was ridiculous. I mean catching five pounders pretty much every day. I mean. I mean, like today, I don't even know how big that one was, probably five and a half. But, I mean, yeah, it was it was ridiculous this week. Keys this week, how'd you catch them? Uh, jerk bait, jig, I mean, I mean, st something like that, so, yeah. Long way away, or are you guys staying close? Uh, we're staying about 20 minutes away. Or, how far were you going? 
to, to catch your fish? How far of a run? We uh, went less than a tank of gas on all a couple of days. So that's nice. It's cheap that way, right? Yeah, it was. We we were the first three days. Every day we got at least a four pounder in the boat. The first ten twenty minutes. So it was it was pretty nice. Nice. All right. So who do we want to say hey to? Thanks to. Uh, I want to say thanks to uh, everybody out there watching me uh, on Bassmaster Live, and uh, thanks to my parents and uh, people letting me stay at their house this week, and it's it's awesome. Who else? Uh, th thanks to Ann, Frank, and the boys. It's it's a uh, group chat my buddy's got, so they're all watching us at home. Um, yeah, wanted to shout them out. All right, Team Car going to the national championship. Good job, guys. First college series tournament, and they made it a good one. All right, they were in uh, fifth place coming into today. We're in the top five. Let's get loud for Murray State, Hunter Mills, and Hunter McKinley. Come on up. 33-7 through two days. You guys have a really good bag. You need 21-13 to take it over. 17 pounds, 14 ounces, all the way up to third place for this Murray State team. There's a really nice one. So there you go, Murray State, Hunter Mills, Hunter McKinley, 51-5 through three days, headed to that national championship. Get weight on this big fish. See what it weighs. Six pounds nine ounces on that one. So, uh, good day out there, Hunter. You got to feel good about that. Uh, headed to the national championship, third place right now. Might take home a, few, a little bit of the hardware. Uh, been a good week for you. Yeah, it was a uh, it was a great week. Uh, started off good today with a uh, second, pretty much third cast. He caught a uh, he caught that six nine and uh, made us feel pretty good. And uh, but couldn't get rid of. The, Three twos, so that hurt us a little bit. I got you. Well, that that's always a good start, though. Yeah, it was a good. It was a good uh, past three days. Uh, it was tough, tough bite. Um, had limited practice because we got here late uh, from another tournament, um, but uh, couldn't be more happy. All right, who do we want to say hey to? Uh, I'd like to say thanks to everybody watching online, from uh, everybody in Murray to uh, family, friends, everywhere else, and then uh, also to my parents because without them, I wouldn't be here where I am today. Who else? Uh, yeah, I would also like to thank my parents, uh, my friends and stuff uh, watching. Um, also, uh, all sponsors, uh, Bag 5 Baits, um, Fisherman's Headquarters, and Dobbins Rods. All right, guys, good job. Murray State heading to the national championship. Team Hunter, we are down to our final four teams. Come on up from Mizzou, Chandler Roberts, Robertson and Austin Culbertson, 35-8. Through two days, you need 19.12 to take it over. 14 pounds, 9 ounces, all the way up to 6th place for you guys. Reaching there, not going to have you taking home any trophies, but it does have you going to that national championship. They were in 4th coming into the day, and now they are parked in 6th place. Well, there you go. I know if we got any local fans out there, they're pulling for this team. From Mizzou, let's hear it one time for them. Chandler and Austin. All right, guys, sixth place, so a, a good finish and good enough to get you into the national championship, so that's got to feel good. Yeah, we're excited about that. Uh, all our fish shrunk today, so I don't know. It's tough today. I don't know. Does that feel like the weather had them moving in and out and just little ones were there today? Yeah, you know, all week we've been so consistent, and then today we, we had our limit by about 830. We just couldn't find the size we had the last two days, so that was about how our day went. How would you catch those this week? Uh, we caught a lot on a jig, uh, jerk bait and crank bait. All right. Well, who do we want to say hey to or thanks to? Uh, I want to thank all of our sponsors, um, everybody that sponsors uh, University of Missouri Fishing, um, Garmin Fishing. Uh, we ran like a thousand miles this week, so uh, without that unit, we didn't. I mean, the shallow water, it's it's a lot easier with that thing. So, who else? I want to thank my mom. She's standing right there watching me. Uh, she came for the weigh-in to see how we did. Um, I want to thank our sponsors and thank Garmin again. Um, that, that really did help us running through that 
that shallow water that we did get out to, and we were a little bit afraid, but with that, we weren't as scared to bottom out the boat. All right, guys. Well, good job. You, uh, hey, I know it's a little bit more pressure when it's in your home state, and you guys got it done, headed to the national championship. All right, we are down to our final three teams, and that much closer to crowning a, national, or a, a Midwestern Conference champion. How are you guys doing is what I like to know. Oh, we're a little worried. Uh, I know McKendry has a good bag, we think, so we'll see how close it is. They are smiling over there. But you guys had a good bag, too. Yeah, we had a pretty good bag. It's just one of the days you, you never forget. I just wish I lost, wouldn't have lost that six-pounder. All right, well, we're about to find out, see if they can unseat you. All right, they were sitting in third place coming in to today. They led on day one. Let's welcome up from McKendree University, Jacob Lewis and J.T. Russell. All right, they do have a good bag, five in there. They need to go 16-15 to take over the lead, looking for 16-15. New leaders, 22 pounds, 11 ounces right there. And your day and number one leaders have assumed their position back at the top in the lead. New leaders, McKendree University, Jacob Lewis, J.T. Russell, 61 pounds even. That is larger than a 20-pound average per day for this lake. Coming in, did you think you'd catch two bags that would go 22 pounds in the three days of competition? Absolutely not. But stuff happens that way. It's been a crazy week. Um, fishing here is great, and it can all happen at once, as we learned out today. But it's crazy. I, I don't have the words for it, honestly. Jacob, what's going through your head right now? Um, I'm just shaking really bad right now. <laughs> my, my teeth are shaking. I, I don't know what that means. So, Cold? Or are you just nervous? I, Excited? All, all of them, man. All of them. <laughs> What would it mean to you guys, you know, McHenry's been close before, but you guys will be the first ones to take home one of those trophies. It would mean a lot, um, especially with all the good fishermen that are here, and especially on our team. You can see our whole team over there. Um, great support from the whole McHenry family. Um, it would mean a lot for us and our program, and it would be great. Well, let's talk about fishing. How would you guys do it? Um, honestly, we just we had a really, really small four fish this morning, and then i got to tell you a story. This is pretty interesting. Uh, we pulled up to our spot. And uh, it was pretty much cl wiped clean. Um, so we had one keeper out of there and then moved and got a five and a four somewhere else. So we're three fish and we caught 12-inch spots. We got four fish. We moved down here. We're throwing a jig. He catches a five-pounder. And then we go down another bank. I throw out my jig. He throws out his jig. He catches a four and a half. I net it, put it in the boat. My bait's salt in the water. It starts taking off. He sets the hook on it. Line breaks. He casts back out in the same spot, sets the hook, catches a fish and my jig falls out of that fish's mouth. The same fish. And that was the six-pounder. So. so that fish was hungry. It, apparently. <laughs> you got the magic touch today, Jacob. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's kind of fun, entertaining for me. All right, let's get some thank yous out of the way. Who do you want to say hi to? Oh, first off, i got to thank our coach and uh, Carla for everything they do. Uh, they've built this team up to where we're at today, and we... Uh, clearly can prove what we can do as a team and uh, working up to be one of the best in the nation. And uh, thank to my parents. They're, they're both here, and uh, they made the drive from home. And uh, my grandparents are here also. I, there's too many people. JT? Uh, I'd like to say hi to my parents. They're watching, too, and my grandparents. Uh, my buddy Connor and Alex, they're watching. They've been calling and texting me crazy, freaking out this week, more than we're freaking out. And I know you can see he's freaking out, so... Yes, because if you guys noticed, we were about right here, and I have literally chased Jacob to the back of the stage. Well, that's good. Reach in there. Let, uh, shake Simo's hand one more time. Let's hear for those guys. And you are now in the lead. You're at least going to get to occupy the hot seat for one team. As we get ready, this team was in second place coming into today. They had a big bag yesterday, 21 pounds, 3 ounces. Let's welcome them up from Wisconsin Whitewater, Louis Dazzo and Colin Krop. 40 pounds, 15 ounces through two days. You need 20 pounds, 2 ounces. 
to unseat McKendry. Looking for 22, 15 pounds, 7 ounces. All the way up to second place for Wisconsin Whitewater. Reach in there, guys. Have you hold them up. Not going to take home the trophy, but they are headed to the national championship. Not going to finish any worse than third. They're going to take home some hardware here, too. So there you go. Let's hear for them. Wisconsin Whitewater, Louie and Colin, 56-6 through three days. All right, guys, had that monster bag yesterday, had you sitting in second place. I swear you're, gonna, you're either going to end up there or third place, so you stay consistent all week. Louie, been a great, great tournament for you. Yeah, it's definitely my best tournament I've, I'd say I've experienced. I feel uh, blessed to be in this position for sure. We had a, it, today started off pretty tough, but we moved around a lot, and we got lucky to get the bites we did. We couldn't find that kicker fish, though. Colin, how would you catch them this week? Jerk bait fishing and a lot of crank baiting, so... Uh. You know, I haven't asked many teams this, but how much changes did you have to do? Because it was like 75, 80 degrees when we first got here, and now we're hovering in the low 50s. So you have to do a lot of adjusting out there this week. We stuck with a mega bass jerkbait and a Strike King crankbait the whole tournament. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, that's good. All right, who do we want to thank? Uh, say hi to. Uh, first and foremost, uh, the guys over here, uh, Steve, the president, Mitch, uh, I want to thank uh, Dave and Selno. They are, my trolling motor broke the first day of practice, and they helped us out. And uh, my mom, for being my biggest fan, I know she'll like to hear that. So, What about you, Colin? I'd like to thank my parents and uh, also the teammates. They've been very supportive on this whole journey. So uh, it's just been, it's been one ride. So and the national championship, how's that feel? Feels pretty great. Louis, same question? Yeah, it, I, I haven't like, comprehended it yet. <laughs> Guys, great job. University of Wisconsin, Whitewater. Let's hear for them one more time. All right, we are down to the final team. You survived all the others, and you have one more, Jacob. Yeah, you're right. We do. You guys know I'm just kind of having some fun now. This is stretching out the way in. Yeah, you are. You're doing good. Anything else you want to talk about? You got a girlfriend? No. Want a girlfriend? Uh, I'm too worried about fishing. You can say, look, sweetie, anybody out there, you can be my girlfriend. I'm famous. I, I might win one of these. I walk across the stage, weigh in bass, all that stuff. Here's your chance. No, I'm good. That's too much of it. Okay. He, he's so much fun to have uh, to to pick on. I don't want to say pick on, but he's pretty fun to pick on. JT, I just ask you a normal question. What's going through your head right now? Um, I'm trying to keep him from passing out. And uh, I don't know. I'm I'm a little nervous too. I think I just show it a little better than than Jacoby does. So. Jacob says he's got a few years of experience. What year are you in school, Jacob? I'm a sophomore. Sophomore, so you got one under your belt. JT, you? I'm a senior. Right, senior, so uh, the wisdom teaching the youth, right? All right. Guys, step over here. We're going to park you right here. We'll set the scene. They had a good bag yesterday. 21-15, it had them parked in the lead. Going to bring them up from Lake Superior State. They were in first place. They need 19 pounds, 11 ounces to take home this trophy. Come on up, guys. And I didn't know this, but they do have a fish in their bag. It's going to need to be a really big one. All right, you're in 19th place. So you're already headed to the national championship. One good fish, 7 pounds, 11 ounces, which means McKendry is going to take home that trophy. Just four ounces shy. We're going to make it official in a second. We're going to let Lake Superior hold up this monster. Let's hear it for them. Uh, four ounces shy of the big fish of the tournament. Seven pounds in an ounce. You're going to catch only one. That's the one you want to catch. That one fish jumped them all the way up to ninth place. This is probably more agonizing than anything with uh, McKendry hanging on. But let's chat real quick. Good tournament, guys. Seven pounds and an ounce on that one. 48-7 through three days. Ninth place, head of the national championship. Been a successful tournament for you. Yeah, it really has. Um, I mean, we struggled today. We had a plan A. Um, we didn't really have much of a plan B or a plan C. And the old 50-yard stretch of plan A kind of wore out on us. So we made a really long run, and that didn't really work out besides that fish. But I don't know. It was fun. We had a great experience and great partner to do it with, so 
And um, I'd like to thank my friends, my family, and just my girlfriend for supporting us, supporting me through through this, and they've they've been great. So. What about you, Nick? Who do you want to say hey to? Oh, man, I don't know. My mom, my dad, uh, Ross Rhodes, he let me use his boat this week. I really appreciate that. Put some big fish in there, so it's fun. All right, guys, thank you one more time for LSU Shreveport. All right, LSU Shreveport. Lake Superior State University up in about as far north as you can go in Michigan. And with that, BJ, if you will help me, I'm going to introduce you to uh, the 2017 Carhartt Bassmaster College Series presented by Bass Pro Shops, Midwestern Conference Regional Champions. For the first time, it's been, uh, it's been on the way. We knew that. McKendry University, Jacob Lewis, and J.T. Russell. Hold those trophies up high, guys. And if I could, Osage Beach, let's get a big round of applause for McKendry taking home that trophy as champions of this Midwestern Conference Regional. All right, we can talk one more time, and then uh, I'm going to go around backstage and verify the standings. How's it feel, man? You, the first one's for McKendry. You know, you guys started uh, about three years ago, and uh, we knew it was only a matter of time, but you guys can say you were the first ones to win a Bassmaster College Series tournament for your school. It, it feels great. Uh, I honestly have no words to say. It's just unbelievable that uh, this team has become what they have. JT, same question. What was that question again? <laughs> First ones for McKendry to win a college series tournament. How's it feel? Oh, it feels great. And uh, I'm really blessed and humbled, you know, to be the first ones to do it because our whole team just ta very talented fishermen. So um, it's great. It's a great feeling. It's a great feeling. All right, guys, I'm going to go up one more time. We're going to have you go. Uh, we'll have you go right here one more time. We always do two takes. Your 2017 Carhartt Bassmaster College Series presented by Bass Pro Shops, Midwestern Conference Regional Champions from McKendry, Jacob Lewis and J.T. Russell. All right, and uh, certainly want to thank uh, Bass and Bob back there. I think they probably still have a few hot dogs left. Our entire Missouri Bass Nation, especially BJ right here for uh, – toughing it out with me throughout the whole event. want to thank all you guys for everybody on Bassmaster.com. We're going to go ahead and sign off. I'm going to step around to the back of the stage, verify standings. Top 19, don't go anywhere. We will have a quick meeting to go over specifics about the national championship. The only thing we're not going to tell you is where it is, but we'll tell you when it is, all that good stuff. So top 19, don't go anywhere. I'll verify the standings, come back out. For the entire Bass staff, we certainly thank everybody for, uh, for coming out. Our next one is in, in all the way out in California for the Western Conference Regional on Shasta Lake. So until then, uh, stay safe, and uh, we'll be back in just a minute. Kill the stream. Kill the stream. All right, I'm going to uh, step backstage real quick. We'll uh, do photo ops with the top three in a second, and then top 19 we'll have a meeting really fast uh, right after that. <laughs> 